Laguna Golf Club, opening hole, out of bounds left, water right, but there's plenty of room for my driver. Okay. Roll pretty now. Roll pretty now. Go, go. Six. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. Six of it all. A little bit scary with water on the right, but again, there's plenty of room. just been getting my instructions for the chip now obviously I can see what's going on with the slope of the green can't always see what's going on with the grain so it's nice to have that second opinion and whilst that's not great it is good enough and this is where you start building your relationship with a caddy and how much you trust them and it didn't take me more than two holes to completely trust this mm -hmm. caddy. Two extra hands. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying there that she needs more than two hands. Yeah. Now I prefer the flag out. And usually when you're playing in a three or a four ball, one of the other caddies has pulled the flag and what have you. Right edge. But when you're playing as a single, it, it, it's almost like you the caddy's got too many jobs to do so I don't mind leaving the flag in just to make life a little bit easier yes. good start <laughs> drove round the lake to the second this is quite intimidating so no surprise that I've chickened out there And even with the best planning in the world, things do go wrong. Oh, big bounce. Big bounce. A little bit more. Water right, OB left. Couldn't really see where I was going here, but I trusted my caddy and what she told me. Yep. Oh, I saw a big bounce, right? Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe bunker. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Look at teeth. Did you come this way? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Well, if you're given a dose of luck like that, don't waste it. Good part. Good, good part. <laughs> Thank you. Another par three that had me playing chicken. When you've got a long chip like this, go and look at the hole, see where the grain is growing, and you'll be able to see what the end of the chip is going to do. Or putt. Well, I've been given my line here, which is about 12 or 15 feet, and I miss it completely. Thank you. Well, welcome to Laguna Golf. This is a par 71 championship course. I'm playing the Blues, I think it's about 6,200. Par 71, scratch of 70. 
Being a championship course doesn't mean it's harder. It can in fact be easier. If you don't believe me, go and ask the residents of Sawgrass and ask them whether the sawgrass that the pros play or the sawgrass on the other side of the road is the harder course. And they'll tell you that it's the members course which is harder. It's very pretty here. The lakes are full of lotus flowers, enormous flowers like this. They're like a lily but they're the size of a dinner plate. I've got Nit as a caddy who must be uh, a little bit older than myself but we're having a laugh. Golf course is empty, we're moving like crazy. We're going to be done very, very shortly. Okay, okay. Tom, 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 On the green. There's an awful lot of water in front of me here. So I've gone for the safe and hit a little tug into the bargain. But it's left me a fairly straightforward sand wedge. And then when we get on the green, you can see why I didn't have a pop at the green. I would have had to have come over all this water. This is down grain. And as you've seen, the last couple of greens down grain, I've overhit it. <laughs> I'd like to play a par three that doesn't have water on it. I didn't get all of that. And the chip is just a complete fluff. Never mind. What a great gunny, thank you so much. <laughs> Very nice photo. Big tip today. Yeah, okay, thank you. Oh no. Oh, no. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you, you might want to photoshop that. Yeah, too many beers in there, I think. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's still a palm, mate. Eh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's good. Oh, too wide. Yeah. We go back, we tell him when we got par. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. We had about 10 minutes in the drink stop and uh, bought a t shirt. I think that's the first time I've got the three wood out. So the front nine we had cloud cover and believe you me, you want cloud cover out here. Now the sun's out, we're into barbecue territory and you're the dish. Well this is a bit of a long one. But that has got to be the best drive of the day. That's a long one. That's a long one. Three wood up the slope, just like the eighth at Lilybrook. And not sure whether that's a top or not. 165 just over the edge of this tree. That'll get me to the front of the green. No short. Wasn't sure I could hit my five iron high enough to get over the tree. Another putt we got slightly wrong. But when you got a caddy, oh, what a par! <laughs> Bit awkward coming out of this hollow, but again. Because you've got a caddy, you get it right. In Thailand, your hybrid is called a katoi, a ladyboy. Because it's not a wood and it's not an iron. And a ladyboy isn't a man and it's not a woman. Now, I suspect it was probably started by Australians. But wherever you go in Thailand, if you ask for your ladyboy or your katoi, the caddy knows exactly what to give you. Well, this might be the shot of the round hasn't finished in the right place. But what a shot. Okay. Okay. Ha, good shot over the bunker left and sitting on the green on the, the mud left a little bit. Long, long putt long, though. Long, long putt, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good 
too big, I see. Too big. I don't mind telling you, this shot scared the pants off me. Probably. Yeah. I can't get over that bunker. Shot trace isn't quite right here. I hit a beautiful fade just round the edge of that tree. But I got a flyer from the rough, so it's gone miles past the flag. On, yeah. On. Long putt. Long putt, And even with two of you looking at a putt, you can get it very badly wrong. After I finished the hole, I picked my ball up dashed back up there and had a second go at it and I missed it by the same amount on the other side so um, no matter how hard you try sometimes it just doesn't happen last hole it was OB left so I kind of like bailed a bit to the right which put me on a lower level where I couldn't quite see the green I could see the bunker, so I just ripped the four iron at the bunker with a fade. That's what we wanted. On, 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 on. The lovely little fader. Yes. Good job. Oh, no power. No power. Okay. Thank you so much for a wonderful day. Well, we're all done now. Showered, changed, something to eat, something cold to drink. Hey, wasn't Nit a great caddy today? She got herself a rather large tip. You know, uh, you never know what you're going to get. And of course, the reverse is true. They never know what they're going to get, so they're in just the same position as me, being with a strange person who may or may not have a clue about what they're doing. Really had it going there. You know, as I said at the beginning, sometimes these championship courses are actually easier than the cheap Charlie courses. It's just the way they're presented, really. And you can see on the greens that they can move the flags around and make it hard for the pros and then they move the flags back and they can make it easy for you and me. I was a little disappointed on that stroke one hole because I I ripped the arse out of that katoy. Um, perhaps not the best choice of words there but that was a cracking shot. Unfortunately because of the shape of the green which is probably why it was stroke one I was off the back and then struggled to get to get anywhere near par or even bogey but that's golf in Thailand and you'll have noticed you know on the back nine there when I was starting to get cooked when the Sun came out then you know your brain processes goes so your decision-making goes your swing thoughts goes your execution goes and your score goes but that's life just watching a young man here he's going on the tour I don't quite know what that means because I don't know which tour he's going on. Um, but he can hit a golf ball. Might wander over and uh, say hello in a moment. It, 
be a bit rude though, wouldn't it, while he's practicing? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I bloody well did. This is a great place. Ta-ra! Thank you.